One of the big things about being an artist is that you have to be willing to let go of your process from time to time and fail once in a while in order to advance your ideas. My name is George Dubin. I consider myself a journeyman artist. I come to that by the traditional idea that whether it's good, bad, or indifference, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm applying my skill sets every single day, and that's what a journeyman does. I've always related painting to sculpture to ceramics. To me, there's a thread that ties it all together, and they all have this humanist quality to it. I wanted to use a limited palette. I wanted to use colors that have an earthy quality to them. If you're interested in painting realistic flesh tones, you'll start finding those grays in there, and that's what makes it real. What I like about using people who are non-professional models is they bring their own comfort zone. Their lack of being professional models contributes a really honest piece of the puzzle to the finished painting. This piece I'm doing for this new apartment complex in Irvine is called Mercury Falling. It's a 60-foot sculpture. I chose mere polished stainless steel as the material because I knew it would reflect everything around it, including the sky, and it would bring that sort of organic, natural quality to the project. What it looks like is if you had a big blob of liquid mercury actually on the roof of the building, and it was sort of starting to spill off the side, and it comes down and in a stream like water and then it hits the ground and there's a big splash at the bottom. Besides the large piece I'm working on right now, back in 2011 I was commissioned by the city of Laguna Beach to do a September 11th memorial. It's in Heisler Park in North Laguna and it's accessible to anybody walking in the park. It's a beautiful setting, overlooks the ocean. I couldn't have asked for a nicer place to put it. Coming out of the center planter, which represents the field in Pennsylvania, is a 30-inch diameter mirror polished stainless steel sphere. Because this is a very reflective sphere, is that as you approach the piece, you see yourself in it. So you become part of the memorial, you become part of the event. The base itself is a pentagon shape. It's a representation of the Pentagon in, in D.C. With the two I-beams, there was an American flag that was covering them when I got them. And I kept the flag, and when we were pouring the foundation, I put the flag in the foundation so it's entombed there until it isn't. I look at my lifestyle, and it's free of convention. After spending 45 plus years as a full-time working artist, I feel very lucky that I've been able to do that still to this day. I look forward to leaving a little something behind that lets people know I was on the planet for a while. <laughs>